Well, what's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. The man with the plan, the man with the knowledge, the man with the wrestling news. How y'all doing on this Friday night? Uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about um, the direction of the Iceman's Return YouTube channel as well as the Iceman B2013 YouTube channel. As we are closing in on November, and uh, the fact of the matter is... Um, after the first of the year, um, depending on the situation, uh, what develops, um, the Iceman wants to uh, head in a, a, maybe a separate directions with the channels, so to speak. Um, one channel I'm looking at uh, solely uh, talking about wrestling, uh, all professional wrestling, uh, also talking about pay-per-views, reviewing pay-per-views, as well as talking about Monday Night Raws um, and probably uh, SmackDowns once they become live in 2016 on the USA Network. So this channel is going to be solely a wrestling channel. I haven't decided which channel I'm going to do this on, uh, but in any event, I want a separate identity uh, basically with both channels because right now, a question was posed to me today, really, what is the difference between your channels and it originally started off where there was a difference where I was just basically talking about TNA, um, or I wanted to on one particular channel in wrestling news, and then more so WWE content on the other. But it got to the point where, you know, uh, TNA lost so much interest and whatnot, I had to sort of like combine them both. So, so I'm looking in uh, separate directions after the first of the year. Um, you know, uh, a lot of things are going on, and uh, there may be a hiatus to come um, in the upcoming weeks. And if that is to be, then so be it. Um, but anyway, um, on one channel, I want to, um, you know, really focus on news and rumors. And, like, I would like to start um, having a weekly... Uh, show on a particular night where it's an open forum where anybody can join in and we can just talk about the world of professional wrestling and what's going on at that particular point in time, our likes, our dislikes about what's going on, and um, it, it can be a fun thing. And then, you know, eventually I'd like to set up at least like three certain nights a week at least where um, we get people together. And uh, we have uh, certain topics that we talk about. But it's all in the works right now. But like I said, I'm trying to go in two different directions here on both channels. One, like I said, solely about the world of professional wrestling and reviews, uh, previews, and whatnot. And um, leave the news and rumors for the other channel and have that channel with the, you know, the weekly show. Um, where we get people together and we talk about the world of professional wrestling. And also, um, you know, if there's other topics available uh, that people want to talk about, it can be also talked about on that same channel as well. I may have a night maybe dedicated to the world of sports. You know, I'm not sure yet. I'm just, I'm sort of weighing the pros and cons on a lot of things right now. But I'm trying to go in a new direction. Um, I think... Um, there's too many of us out there doing the, pretty much the same thing. And maybe we need, you know, something that's unique to draw in the viewers and maybe draw in the subscribers and whatnot. And um, we just move on from there. So that's the deal. Um, after the first of the year, like I said, um, there may be a, a lapse, you know, in the upcoming weeks where you won't see me at all. Um depending on uh, what the situation is to be. And if that's the case, um, it doesn't mean I won't return because the Iceman always, always returns. But it's just be, you know, taking care of business and uh, doing all those kinds of things that you got to take care of, you know, in, in the world of reality, so to speak. So, um, but, you know, I'm still going to be around for the next week. Um, well, I don't know if it would be a full week or not, but um, at least 
into up to Wednesday of next week. And uh, we'll just go from there. And, um, you know, I'm still writing down and jotting down ideas of what I want to do. And once I get it pretty much formulated in my mind on how I want to do it, I'll let you all out there know. Um, and yeah, we're going to, we're going to get back into uh, talking more about TNA, uh, regardless of what people think about TNA. It is still a pro wrestling organization, just like Ring of Honor, um, just like Lucha, just like House of Hardcore, just like PWG, CCW, Beyond Wrestling, RCW, uh, OVW. It's still a wrestling promotion, and everybody's saying, well, you know, they, 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 they don't belong to be in the same category to be talked about, much like the WWE is these days. But the bottom line is they're still a wrestling promotion, and they do deserve some attention. And, you know, um, in all fairness to any wrestling promotion out there, even the little ones that, you know, aren't big names, they put their heart and their soul into their shows each and every time they appear. And you can't take that away from them. You cannot take away how much effort they put in to entertain uh, what fans they do have, whether it's in front of a large stage of fans or a small stage of fans. They still go out there and they do their very, very best. And that's all we can really ask for as a wrestling fan. I think we've been spoiled over the years um, with WCW and um, the WWE. And, you know, I think um, we need to really look back. And, you know, there was a day and there was a point in time where these promotions were just as small as the ones that I had just mentioned now. I mean, it took a lot of hard work. It took a lot of years for uh, the likes of the old WWWF to the WWF to the WWE to become um, as big as they had have become. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. Whether or not these other promotions can remain in existence long enough to build up on their promotions, you know, we'll have to see. And I did leave out Global Force Wrestling, and I apologize for that because I'm looking to see what Jeff Jarrett can do with that as well. So, like I said, a new direction coming after the first of the year. Um, you know, I just, you know, got to get things, get priorities straight. And, um, you know, like I have always said, my famous catchphrase that NF Punk always laughs at, it's the bottom line, and it is what it is. And, um, you know, good things are to come. And uh, and there's an old adage, uh, uh, good things come to those who wait. And I do believe in that. And um, um, I've been around long enough to know that there's a lot of ups and downs in reality, and you need to deal with them. And, um, you know, so... YouTube's been fun. It is fun, and I'll continue to do so with it as much as I can. Uh, but uh, when there comes a time that I have to be away from YouTube, it's only going to be for it. My my history teacher in, in in elementary school always said it. It's all it's only temporary, and I've always remembered that phrase. And uh, you know everything that happens to you in life, whether it's good or bad. Uh, you always got to remember that, that it's always temporary, you know, and you don't want to think about that when it comes to all the good things that happen to you, but it does work both ways. So anyway, to all the subscribers out there, um, you know, I'm looking, I'm just looking for uh, a new a new dimension uh, and um, new creativity, so to speak, and, and try to... Um, you know, branch this channel out a little bigger and a little better. So with all that being said, have yourself a great Friday night. Um, the World Series Game 3 is on tonight, Mets and the Royals. Royals lead two games to none. I want to see this series go seven games, so I'm rooting for the Mets tonight. So get a lot of heat on that as well. So peace out, everybody. We'll see you all next time. This is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Have yourself a great Friday night.